So, you often use a lot of the same estimate items in your projects, and you would like a quick way to add those items. In this training, you'll learn the steps to create a custom macro in Xactimate. A macro is a saved set of estimate items that is stored in your profile and can be accessed and applied to any project you're working on. This is really useful if you use the same type of estimate items often, like with water loss, fire loss, or just roofing. Before we make the macro, bring into a project all the estimate items that you will need for the macro. A quick suggestion is that you should put all the estimate items that you think you might use in the macro, as it's easier to delete extra items if you add too many. Also, another quick tip is that if you have any items that require a specific number for the quantity, like an air mover or something like that, set that number to zero before you create that macro to help avoid future quantity issues. Now, to create a macro, you first select all the estimate items you wish to be a part of your new macro. This can be done by holding down control to select individual items, or hold down shift and click on the top and bottom item, and that will select the range. Once more than one item is selected, the Save Macro button appears here. Click that button and give your new macro a code, which will be its name, and also give it a description. If you have notes, or other line item edits, you can include them in the macro by clicking these boxes. Selecting the personal box means that that macro will only be accessible to you with your login, even if you're on a shared account. Click OK and your macro is created. Find your macro in the Macro tab here. To apply your macro, select it and click Run, and all your saved line items will apply to the room you've selected in your project. And that's it! That's how you create and apply a macro in Xactimate.